Alrighty, hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Hales. Today we have a 30 minute core focused kind of power class. Um, all you're going to need for this class is a mat or a soft spot to practice on. You'll see in the description box below where there is a playlist linked. You can go ahead and click on that now, open it up. If you're on a computer, you can just open it up, have two separate browsers going, and you can manually adjust in each of those browsers the volume until you have the right mix. Otherwise, if you're watching on your phone, maybe on a smart TV, then get a second device going so you can listen to music in the background. So go ahead and pull that playlist up and we'll get started. Make sure you're not on shuffle. You're going to press that first song in three, in two, in one. All right, so let's get into it. Even though we have a very fiery, powerful flow today, I'm going to get you guys to, as always, start off in a place of rest a place of stillness. So this can look like your tall, comfortable seat, laying on your back, wherever it is, wherever it feels good. And as you arrive here, I want you to really allow yourself and just to be, and give yourself that permission. A lot of times when we talk about being present, we forgot that a lot of that starts with giving ourselves the permission to be. So giving yourself that permission to step away from things that have happened so far in your day, your week, things in the past. Giving yourself permission to drop worry or anticipation of what's to come. Give yourself that permission to drop all of those thoughts of what you should be doing, who you should be. And instead, give yourself these 30 minutes just for you, just to be present. From here, we'll start to breathe. Let's take a nice big inhale through the nose. Big full exhale through the mouth, let it go. We'll do it again. Take a nice big full inhale through the nose. And big full exhale, let it go. And from here, you're going to make your way to hands and knees. You have a couple breaths to do so, a couple breaths to get there. If you're on your back, maybe you rock up and down, side to side. If you're in your seat, gently make your way over to that hands and knees. So we're gonna start by warming up, waking up through the spine. So you're gonna take an inhale here to drop the belly, lifting up through your chest or your tailbone. Good, and then you're gonna exhale. You're gonna press your spine up towards the ceiling, drop your chin. We'll move just like this. So inhaling, dropping the belly, finding space through the front body. And good. Then exhale as you round. Think about finding space between all of those spine bones as you push them up. And good. Take three more rounds. Work with your own breath. Maybe adding any extra movement of the neck or the hips side to side. And then eventually make your way back to hands and knees, back to that tabletop position. Good. And then as you're ready, you're going to tuck those 10 toes under. Reach those hips up high and back. So find your way to a downward facing dog. Good. From downward facing dog, really press the fingertips in towards the floor. So press those shoulders away, strong through the shoulder girdle. And then maybe a little bend, a little pedal through one knee, through the other. We'll take some movements through the spine, starting to wake up through the core. So you're going to start to roll, ripple that spine forward. The stopping of those shoulders right over top of those wrists. You're going to come to high plank top of a push up. And good. In your high plank, you're going to take a nice big inhale. And big full exhale. And then slowly roll, push yourself back to downward facing dog. Good. We'll start to do this again. This time, double time. Roll yourself forward. Hands over top. Hands underneath the shoulders. Shoulders over top of hands. Good. Hold for an inhale. And for an exhale. And stay for another one. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. And press those hips high. Downward facing dog. You good. You're going to do this one more time. Ripple forward. High plank. Top of a push up. You good. Take a nice big inhale. And big full exhale. You've got two more. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Last time, breath in for three. Good, big breath out. And from here, you're gonna slowly drop those knees down. Bring your hips down, to your heels, go child's pose. 
We're going to start with a little bit of core work onto the back. So you're going to come to seated. And good. So seated, make sure you're on the middle of the mat. Big toes press down out in front. And good. From here, you're going to take a nice big inhale. I want you lifting up nice and tall through the spine. Good. Then exhale, you're going to think about rounding. So think about that kind of angry cat motion we did. So round through the spine. Think about pulling your belly button and create that C shape. Good. Press through the big toes. Reach those fingertips forward. Starting just with the hold, so reaching those fingertips forward, rounding, think about pulling the belly button in, C-shape through the spine. From here, you're going to take a little crunch up an inch, down an inch, and good. Just like this, nice and slow, up an inch, and down an inch, and good. Take a little lift, and take a little lower. And beautiful little squeeze, a little lower, really nice. You guys take an inhale, and take an exhale, that's it. And good, you've got six more through center, so a little lift. Maybe you start to lower down a little bit further as you get a little bit more warm. You've got five. That's it, you guys. You've got four for three and two. And good for one. You're going to hold back as far as you can. Reach those fingertips up overhead. Right away, you should feel that shake intensify through the core. Yes, you should be shaking. It should feel challenging. Hold, hold, hold. Breathe for three. For two. One hand's coming behind the back of the thighs. Lift up, lift your chest. Think about almost that cow motion we did at the beginning. Open it up. Good. Exhale out. Right away, you're going to start to come back to that shape, that C shape. Good. Slight tuck of the tailbone. Pull the belly button in. Reach those fingers forward. And good. From here, you're going to row. Bring your right elbow back. Keep lengthening those left fingers forward. And then switch. Once the fingertips come to meet, you're going to pull back on the left. Maybe a slight rotation. And good, keep leaning back enough to feel those abdominals. It should be shaking or that little quiver, right? That activation. Beautiful, we're gonna go for that bow and arrow motion. You've got it for three. I know I'm starting nice and spicy. That's it, you guys. Last two. Okay, don't hate it too much. We have one more overhead hold coming up. You've got one. You've got one. Both fingers forward. Here we go, take them all the way up overhead, just hold. Just hold, can you lean back one inch further? Let the chin relax, let the neck relax. Lean back one inch further, hold five, hold four, three, a two. One hand's coming behind the back of the thighs, lift your chest forward. And then this time we're rolling all the way down to the back for four, for three, and two. And for one, as you rest on the spine, you're gonna bring those hands behind the back of your head. And good, you're gonna start to walk this out. You're going to find a bicycle, so you're going to go opposite knee, opposite elbow, that's it. From here, I still want you keeping that core right through center, so you're not letting those hips do any funny things side to side. You're keeping grounded through your low back, and just moving through those limbs, a little bit of a crunch up and out of that upper body, not the lower body. And beautiful, you're going to walk this out for three. We're going to hold it over to that left side in two, in one. So keep that left knee bent to a tabletop. You're gonna to start to crunch that right elbow, reach it for that left knee. Yes, that's it, take it up an inch, and down an inch, good, little lift. A little lower, that's it. If you wanna make this more challenging, you reach that left knee a little bit further away from you. Good, to so make your body reach harder for the knee, and don't pull that knee in towards the chest, that's it, go six, five. You've got that four, for three, and two, and for one, right away, you're taking this over towards that other side. So stack that right knee 90 degrees. Left elbow reaches up and across. Take it there. A little reach. A little crunch. A little twist. That's it. You've got it. If it comes too much, you can always lower that left heel down on the floor. Keep it lifted for more space. Take that right knee further away from you for a little bit more. You've got that four. We walk it out in three. And two. One. Start to take it side to side. You've got it. Almost there. Making sure that core is nice and toasty before we start to flow, before we start to use it, integrate it into that flow. And that's it, you've got four, you've got three, and two. One, drop the head, neck, and shoulders. Here we go, lengthen those tippy toes all the way up towards the ceiling. I want you sealing down through the low back. To make sure it's sealed, we're gonna start with a little lift of those hips. So you lift that low back, squeeze the core, feel that shape. Ground down, feel that tailbone that low back really press in towards the floor. Now start to lower those heels for three. They do not have to come all the way to the floor just so you feel that shake for two. And for one, when you've got that shake, happen, hold it for three. Hold it for two. 
or for one, bring those toes back up towards the ceiling. Now start to, without any momentum, squeeze the core, lift the tailbone, hold it, feel that shape in the core, lift that tailbone for three, two, one, almost there, ground down through the tailbone, through the low back, give a little wiggle, feel that connection to the floor. We start to lower those heels for three. Only two more of these, you guys, then you're there for two, for one. When you've got that low point, just refill that shape, and you can still keep that low back down, hold for three, and two, one, last two, start to lift those toes to ceiling and then squeeze the core to lift the hips, hold three, hold two, hold one, take that tailbone down, lower the heels for three, and two, one, shaky point, hold that shaky point for three, and two, one, last time, toes up towards the ceiling, squeeze, slowly start to peel, reverse crunch, lift those hips for three, this is it friends, for two, for one, I know, slowly lower those heels for three, this is it, you've got it too. One, that low point, hold three. Feel that shake for two. For one, you did an awesome job. Hug those knees in towards the chest, yes. Little rock and roll up and down the length of the spine. Eventually, you're gonna cross at those ankles. Make your way to hands and knees. You're gonna go tabletop. Good, from that tabletop, you're just gonna shift forward, make modified high plank. Now drop the hips, find that stretch through those abdominals, that upward facing dog. Good, then slowly you're gonna make your way back to hands and knees. Hips come high and back, downward facing dog. So I would say we just warmed up those abdominals pretty well, yeah? So now we're gonna to start to build a flow that's gonna use those abdominals just as much. I want you to hold on to that connection we just built. Now let's start to inhale, sweep that right heel up towards the ceiling. So reach, find some expansion through the hamstrings, through the hips. Good, if you're exhaling, you're gonna to start to crunch, use the obliques, bring the right knee, left elbow. We'll do it four more times. Take an inhale, reach that right, that right heel. And good, exhale, squeeze, bring the knee towards the elbow. Three more, inhale, a little bit more left. Good, exhale, can you touch right over towards that left elbow? And last two, take an inhale, reach it. And good, exhale, squeeze it. And last time, take an inhale, reach. And good, exhale, squeeze. Can you get them right together to touch, hold for five. I know, can you touch them? Hold for four. You've got it, three, and two. One, knee to nose. Right foot lunge forward between the hands when you're ready. You can get yourself there, give yourself some time to set up. And then slowly start to rotate that left heel down 90 degrees. Open up those arms, warrior two. You're gonna stack those shoulders right over top of those hips. Good, reach those arms long. We're going to start it off with a little stretch, a little space. So take that right hand down inside that right leg. Left bicep alongside the ear. Feel your left side of your body lengthen. I'm going to come here. You're going to start to think about pulling those hips towards the back of the room. So that's going to pull your legs to straight as those sh hips shift backwards behind you. You're going to take those arms out nice and long. Now lift that right hand just off of that right ankle. You're gonna to start to squeeze that left side of your waist, lift up an inch and down. A little lift, a little lower, so that connection through that left side of your waist. If you need to bring that right hand there to feel that left side of the waist working, you do that. It's 10. And good, if you want a little bit more, biceps alongside the ears. Keep squeezing those inner thighs together for that low body stability. A little lift, make sure you're not just lifting the arms, it's through that waist, you've got five. You've got four, and three, and two, one. Take that right hand down, reach those left fingertips up and over. Beautiful stretch, lengthening out that muscle you just worked. And good, let's start to bend back through that right knee. Go and come back into your side angle. And then we're gonna take this into a balance, so still activating that left side body. So those right fingertips are gonna plant down on the floor, just outside of that right foot, that front foot. From here, you're gonna launch yourself onto that right leg. So you're using that left side of your waist to lift that whole left side of your body up towards the ceiling. Now, the more you use that right side of the waist, the more you're gonna be able to lift those right fingers. You've got four breaths to hold onto it, to play with it here. Can you get a little light on those fingers? Can you lift that left side of your waist a little bit higher? And good, just breathe. That's it, you've got it for two. One more inhale. One more exhale. Here we go, we're gonna float it back. Warrior two, give yourself a moment to ground. 
We've got a little bit of side plank work coming up. Windmill those hands down, framing your front foot. And good, from here, I think we did this last week. You're gonna press down through that left palm. Raise those right fingertips high. And good, from here, listen closely. You're gonna roll onto the pinky side edges of your feet. So modified side plank. You've got that right foot down as your kickstand. If you have any shoulder stability issues going on, choose to stay right here, amazing. Otherwise, can right foot stack over top of left. And good, from here, you're gonna take a little pinch, a little squeeze of that left waist, lift up an inch, and back down. And you're gonna take a little squeeze, lift up an inch, and down. You've got eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, is three, for two, and for one, we're gonna meet high plank, top of a push up, and good, hold three. You're back to your down dog in two, and one, hips come high. Awesome job on that first side. You guys give the head a little bit of a shake, yes and no. And pedal through the legs. If you need a child's pose, you take it. Otherwise, it's only 30 minutes today. So we're moving a lot. It's quick, right? And getting into that left side right away. Take an inhale. Reach that left leg high. Try not to kick your plants like me. And good. We've got that crunch across the body. Left knee is coming to tap your right elbow. Squeeze. And that's it. Four more. Take an inhale. Amazing. Take an exhale. Squeeze. And beautiful, for three, take an inhale, can you lift the heel a little bit higher? And good, exhale, squeeze it across the body. One more, you've got to hold after this, take an inhale, reach. And good, exhale, squeeze it across, hold, hold, hold. Can you get them together to touch it? Four, three, and two, one. Take that left foot between your hands when you're ready. Cool, we're doing it, guys, we're on that left side. And take that right heel down, 90 degrees. You've got that warrior, too. So even though this is an active pose, it's an active recovery. And take that moment, ground here, catch your breath. So let's go side angle pose. You're bringing your left hand down the inside that left foot. Right fingertips can start towards the ceiling, then reach them up and over. And feel that length through that right side of your waist. And good, now breathe. So opening up that side body, we'll work it and then we'll open it again. And good, from here you're going to start to think about pushing those hips back behind you. Feel that left leg go straight. And then start to think about lifting. You're going to try and think about crunching your lower ribs in towards your hip on that right side. So take that little lift. That little lower, little lift. A little lower, yes, you want more biceps alongside the ears if you're holding that beach ball up overhead. A little crunch, you've got ten. Yes, you guys, it's eight. Maybe turn up that music if you want. You've got that six. So strong for four. For three, for two, and for one, take those arms back along, reach those right fingertips up and over, stretch out that right side of your waist, so good. You're gonna keep that left hand low, you're gonna come back to that side angle pose. We've got our balance coming up. Here we go, don't think too hard about it, just do it. And take those left fingertips down inside that left foot. You're gonna spring onto that left foot. That right side of your waist is gonna lift you up and out of that left hip up towards the ceiling. Want to test out that left oblique? Maybe reach those left fingertips up off the floor. The worst thing that happens, you pull them right back down, you hold here, you've got three. You're back to warrior two, in two, in one, float it back. And that's it, you guys, awesome job. Take a moment to land. That heart rate might be coming a little bit higher, we've been moving a lot, you're doing amazing. Whatever comes up, let it come up. Whatever you're ready to let go of, you let go of. Here we go, take those hands down, framing your front foot. We've got that side plank coming up on your right side. And to get there, right palm is gonna plant, left hand is gonna come up towards the ceiling. And good, you're gonna start to roll your weight onto the edges of those feet. So all 10 toes should face towards the left now. Once you're ready, you're gonna step that left foot on top of the right, hold your side plank. And choose to stay, come back to your modification. I want you thinking about pinching that right side of your waist to lift that left hip higher. Higher, you've got eight. And seven. And so good, you guys. Nice, strong squeeze through that right oblique. You've got that four. And three. And two. One, come back, hands and knees, high plank. Again, take a nice big inhale. And big exhale, drop those knees. Hips to heels, child's pose. 
Are you feeling both sides of the waist? I hope so. Take a nice big inhale. And big exhale. So option to do this facing forward. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me better. You're going to come back to hands. So you're going to come up onto your knees now. So nice tall kneeling position. And good. That right leg is going to come out nice and long. So right leg out towards the side. From here, hands can start on the hips. A little bit harder. Elbows straight out from the ears. Option also to bring that left hand, hold on to that right side of your waist, right hand up towards the ceiling, kind of like that bow and arrow position. From here, you're going to start to drop that left shoulder towards the floor for four, and three, and two, one, squeeze that right side of your waist, lift it up for four, and three, and two, one, stopping just short of full range, take it down for four, and three, and two. One, feel that right side of the waist work and make those fingers for four and three and two. One, you're going to come to that sticky point, so somewhere halfway along the range, you're going to start to pulse those right fingers up an inch and down an inch, so similar to what we did in our triangle pose, little crunch. If you want more, you release both fingertips long, little crunch, little squeeze. Not here for long, you've got eight, you've got seven, five, for four, three, Two, one, just hold, just hold. You teach that right bicep alongside the ear. Feel all that side of the waist. Squeeze, breathe, three, and two. One, left hand is gonna come down. You're gonna make a rainbow shape. Push that right hip up and over. And good, feel that stretch through the lat, through the hip. And good, now take those fingers all the way back through center. So fingers are gonna come out in front of you. So it's almost like you're on hands and knees, but you've got that right leg long. And press down through that right palm, open up that left. And good, so a little counter twist. Inner thigh stretch, breathe in. And breathe out. Left palm comes down, right knee comes in by the left. Quick cat cow, take an inhale, drop the belly, lift your chest. Exhale, press your spine to ceiling. Here we go, we've got a last little bit of oblique work on the left. And take your left foot out long. And good, option hands on hips. Hands by the ears. I press my like, right hand on my waist, left hand up towards the ceiling. Let's start to drop right shoulder towards the floor for four, three, and two. One is slow, squeeze that left side of your waist for four, and three, and two. One, take it down for four, and three, and two. One, take it up for four, and three, and two. One, come back, find that halfway point, that sticky point. You're going to take that pulse lift up an inch and down an inch to the lift. A little lower option, take those biceps alongside the ears for a little bit more squeeze. Squeeze, crunch, you've got it guys, it's eight. And get that left side of the waist, you can feel so strong after this. You've got that five, you're doing amazing, it's four, three, and two. One, take that right, oh, we've got that hold. We've got that hold, I almost forgot. You guys are almost lucky, come back into it. I can't see you, but I want, I can feel it. I want you to come right back in, hold for four. Don't give up, you've got that three. And two, one, take that right hand down, reach those left fingertips up and over. And go to really stretch out that left rib cage, that left lat muscle underneath the armpit. And then slowly walking those fingers back out in front. So it's almost hands and knees, just that left leg is long. And keep that left palm down, counter twist, open those right fingertips high. You guys have done amazing. And good, slowly unravel, bring hands and knees down. So we're gonna meet in hands and knees, tabletop. And good, from here, when you're ready, downward facing dog. And downward facing dog, you're gonna take an inhale, reach that right heel all the way up towards the ceiling, stretch it out. Almost there, you guys, I promise, exhale, squeeze, bring your knee to your nose. Good, you're gonna hold your knee to your nose. From here, you're gonna slowly drop that right knee so it almost touches your mat. And then exhale, squeeze it, can you guys to touch the nose? Four more, drop it down. Let's squeeze it up. And that's it, you've got three, lower down. Squeeze, final two, through that center core. And pull it up, obliques, gonna rest now, take, drop that knee. Let's squeeze it in. Good, flush it out, extend that right leg long. Now we're swinging that right foot all the way forward between the hands, so runner's lunge. From here, you've got a standing crunch. Fingertips are coming down just ahead of the shoulders. You're gonna step onto that right leg, lift that left heel. So a little bit of hamstring length. 
And now going to standing crunches, you're going to inhale, lift your chest, lift your heels. Exhale, think about crunching into a little ball. Can you get your knee literally to touch your nose? We good. Four like this. Take an inhale, open everything up. Find that length. Exhale, I'm not kidding. Can you get that knee to touch your nose, squeeze? Yes, three more. You guys, last little bit of work, last little bit of flow. Squeeze it in. And good, release it out. Final two. And squeeze. And one more, release it out. The squeeze, knee to nose. And good, come back. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Toes lengthen the chest. And take those left toes all the way down back on the mat. And take an inhale, reach your upper body up. Feel that nice little stretch through the core. Little baby back bend. Hands come down, framing that front foot. Right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. One more side, you guys. This is it, almost done our flow. Almost there, are you sweating? I hope so, take that left heel up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, exhale, squeeze the knee to nose. Good, you're gonna hold it here. Make sure those shoulders are right over top of those wrists. Exhale, lower that left knee almost to touch the mat. Now squeeze, bring your knee almost to touch the nose. For four, drop it. Squeeze it. So all center core for three. Lower. And squeeze. And final two. And zip it up right towards your nose. Last one. Lower. And squeeze. Flush it out. Left heel towards the ceiling. And good. Left foot lands all the way forward between the hands. Last bit of standing work here. There. Take those fingertips forward. Launch onto that left leg. Pull that right heel up towards the ceiling. Standing splits. L shape pose. Here we go. All right, one more bit of crunch work. You're gonna take an inhale, lengthen through the heel, through the chest. Now exhale, can you actually get your right knee to touch your nose, come into the tiniest little standing ball. Four more, inhale to lengthen. This is it, friends, exhale, squeeze. You've got it for three. And crunch. And that's it, final two. Let's squeeze it in, this is it, last one. Take an inhale, lengthen. And good, exhale, squeeze, knee the nose. Find the most length yet, everything up towards the ceiling. Now take those right toes all the way to the back of the mat. Just a breath or two, high lunge, come into a nice easy back bend. Just letting that front body open up, that hip flexor, that chest, that core. And then take those hands all the way down, framing that left foot. The left foot steps back to meet the right down dog. From here, Drop those knees down, hips come to heels, and child's pose, let it go. From your child's pose, you're going to take those hands all the way over towards the left. So a nice right side body stretch. So feel that right side of your waist open up, let it feel really good. And I want you to notice if being present the past 30 minutes felt maybe a little bit easier. The thing is sometimes when we're on the go, when we're moving quickly, it's so much easier to be present, right? It's almost opposite of what you would think. But when we slow down, that's when it's hard. That's when our mind goes elsewhere. Totally normal. Don't judge it. But just feel it. See how it feels here to slow it down. Can you be just as present here in a slow hold as you were when you were doing mountain climbers or crunches? And if that feels hard, no judgment. They're just thoughts, they're just feelings, right? They're not who you are, they're just moments, they pass. And take one more big breath on this side. And then when it feels complete, you're taking those hands all the way over towards that right side. So feel that left side of your body open up. Put a nice couple of equalizing breaths here. Opening up that left side of your waist, breathe. And when the side feels complete, you're coming back through center. Make your way back up to tabletop. From your tabletop, we did this at the beginning, walk those knees back so you've got a modified plank. Just let those hips be nice and heavy, roll those shoulders back, abdominal stretch. 
little shake of the shoulders, the hips, eyes, just, I just opening up those core muscles you work so hard. And then slowly bending with the elbows, you're gonna lower yourself all the way down onto the belly for three, and two, and one. Rolling yourself gracefully onto your back when you're ready. As you arrive on your back, hug those knees up in towards the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And finishing off the movement part of your practices, arms are going to come out wide like a T. You're just going to let those knees slowly rock side to side. Just dropping any tension that may have happened in your low spine. It should feel really good. If it feels like too much pressure in the low back, same thing, just with the heels down. And then as those final twisting movements feel complete, you're gonna make your way into a final place of stillness, a final place of rest. And as you move into that final place of rest, just notice what you're feeling, what's going on, what's happening. Notice if right away, maybe stillness, maybe slowness felt uncomfortable. And ask yourself, what are you so afraid of? Why is it so hard? Why are we so terrified of stillness, of slowing down? Because stillness doesn't equal stagnation. Sometimes stillness is just giving ourselves that permission to process, to settle, to get grounded, so then we can continue to grow. And that's what's so special about this practice, is it teaches us how to ground, it teaches us how to grow, it shows us softness, and it shows us strength. As you move off your mat into the rest of your morning, evening, day, or week, know that you never have to choose between being strong and being soft, between being on the go and having your mind be still. You can have it all, you can be it all, you feel that here on your mat and feel it as you step off. Let's close our practice with the final breath all together. Take a big full inhale through your nose. And big full exhale, whatever it is, let it go. Thank you guys so much. I'll leave you in your place of rest. My name is Hales. Please let me know in a message or comment what you'd like to see next. Otherwise, I'll see you next week in the next video. This video was definitely a lot of strength. If you need a little bit more stretching mobility, please check out another video and enjoy. I will see you soon.